Welcome to the first update video regarding cases which have been discussed on this channel. I tend to post links to updates on the channel's community tab, however I understand that not everybody uses it. In this video I will provide basic summaries of each case along with the updates, but will leave links to more in-depth articles both in the description and in the comment section. Update 1. The Yuba County Five In February 1978, five mentally disabled men abandoned their car in the wilderness of Yuba County, California. Months later, four of them were found deceased in mysterious circumstances and their remains were scattered over many miles. The last of the friends, Gary Mathias, has never been found. Since releasing the video regarding the bizarre case of the Yuba County Five and the disappearance of Gary Mathias, the Sacramento Bee published a two-part article with lots of new and interesting information. Too much to list in this video, but what I find especially fascinating is finding out more about the men themselves, their personalities, their quirks, etc. So I highly recommend you go ahead and read them. The links to these pieces I have listed in the description. I've always wanted to make an updated version of the video I made regarding this case, but let me know what you think in the comments. Update 2. The Delphi Murders, Abigail Williams and Liberty German. On the 13th of February 2017, best friends Abby Williams and Libby German were killed on a trail in Indiana. Being suspicious of another walker, Libby's quick thinking provided authorities with video and audio evidence of the man they suspect is responsible for the girl's deaths. Unfortunately, the case is yet to be solved. In April 2019, there was a fresh development in the Delphi murders case. New video and audio were released by Indiana police, as well as an updated sketch of the man who they believe was the person who took the lives of Abigail Williams and Liberty German. If you recognise this man, you can contact the Indiana police tip line or email the following address. Update 3. The death of Lauren Ag. In the summer of 2015, 21-year-old Lauren Ag was found floating in a Tennessee lake after attending a wakeboarding festival. She had allegedly died from a fall, yet some people believe that foul play was involved. Her companions pleaded the Fifth Amendment and have refused to cooperate in the police investigation, which was marred by incompetency. In the Lauren Ag case, her mother, who has been fighting for justice since her daughter's death, has won the right to pursue a wrongful death lawsuit against Aaron Lilly, Christopher Stout and Hannah Palmer, the trio being the last to see Lauren alive. However, in a development, it appears that another person named Brix Gambrell was present with the friends. Lauren's mother, Sherry Smith, is hopeful that the case will now go to trial. Update 4. The Lost Companions of Larimar Paddy and Kelly Moriarty 70-year-old Paddy Moriarty and his Kelpie dog, Kelly, vanished on the 16th of December 2017 from the tiny Australian village of Larimar, home to a mere 10 residents. Two businesses at war and rumours of being baked into a pie or fed to crocodiles, the disturbing mystery remains unsolved. Several details have been released from Larima police who are investigating the vanishing of Paddy and Kelly Moriarty. As already stated in the video, police remain firm of the opinion that not only was the pair's disappearance due to foul play, but they have strong reason to believe that they are dealing with homicide. 
An inquest was held which detailed how there was no evidence of forced entry, that Paddy's hat, which was almost always on his head, was oddly indoors, and many other details like this. There was also evidence suggesting that Paddy had intended on returning to his home on the day he disappeared. Police have stated that they are investigating persons of interest, both within Larima and outside of the outpost. Currently, no arrests have been made. The Australian newspaper reported that a podcast named Lost in Larima, which discusses this case, is set to become an HBO television series with Sarah Lee Hess, executive producer of Orange is the New Black, at the helm. Update 5. The Murder of Muriel Drinkwater Known as the Little Red Riding Hood murder, young Muriel Drinkwater was brutally and fatally attacked in Woodland near her home. The perpetrator has never been caught. Infamous child killer Harold Jones, who was a suspect in the murder of 12-year-old Muriel Drinkwater in Wales in 1946, has officially been ruled out by investigators following a groundbreaking DNA test. Muriel's family continue searching for answers, her great niece stating, We realise whoever did this might be dead, but if he is alive and in his 80s or even 90s, we would like to see him behind bars. It turned our family upside down and has been talked about through the generations. This was a terrible, terrible crime that someone has got away with for too long. All of the updates which have been provided are accurate as of May 2019. Channel update. Just as a side note to these case updates, I am currently working on the script for Dark Curiosity's 50th video, which will be another unsolved European case which I have always wanted to produce a video for. I don't have an exact release date for the episode, but it is expected to be the longest video I have produced so far in the two years that the channel has been running. Thank you once again to everybody for subscribing, leaving a like or comment, sharing the content on different platforms and most importantly, spreading awareness of these cases in the hope that one day they can be solved.